we are going to apply a technique called as nodal analysis to solve a numerical. So let's take a numerical. Ten volt battery. This is two ohm resistance. Ten ohm. Five. Fifteen. This is three ampere current source. Three ohm resistance connected in series with eighteen volt. Objective is to get current flowing through. Two ohm resistance and current flowing through three ohm resistance using nodal analysis. First step is to identify how many nodes are there. So this is a point which I will consider as a node because one, two, three branches are connected. Let's mark this point as A. This point and this point. nothing but the same point because nothing is connected between them so i can consider the whole point as node b and finally all these branches are connected together which is forming a third node which i will consider as a reference meaning the voltage of this node is zero second step let's mark current directions for all the branches so current source is given so i will keep the direction same as the current source for this branch and for remaining branches i can consider random direction of current so let's take this is incoming outgoing outgoing so obviously this will remain outgoing for node a but it will be incoming for b this is outgoing and let's take this also outgoing let's apply kcl to node a this is incoming current which has started from reference and ending on a node so reference voltage minus node voltage of a now in the direction of current i'm having the voltage source which is changing its polarity from minus to plus so minus to plus means it is a voltage rise in the direction of current that i have assumed so i will consider plus 10 divided by resistance of this branch which is 2 so this is the incoming current for node a these two are outgoing currents starting at a ending on b so the equation will be b a minus b b divided by 5 plus this is also outgoing current starting at a ending on 0 or ending on reference so b a minus 0 divided by resistance is 10 ohm so i can club all va together so it will be va coefficient is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 and if this term will go this side it will become 1 by 2 coefficient of bb is minus 1 by 5 equal to constant 10 by 2 which is 5 and it will be on a another side of equation so this will be equation number 1 similarly i can apply kcl to node b now for node b only one incoming current and remaining are outgoing currents so equation for this incoming current we have already written so i will copy it from equation 1 so it is ba Minus V B divided by five equal to remaining currents are outgoing so three ampere as it is plus equation for this branch current started at B 
ending on reference resistance is 50 now third current is this started at b and ending on reference but in the direction of current that i have assumed i am having voltage source was changing the polarity from plus to minus so it's a voltage drop so i will consider minus 18 divided by resistance in this branch which is 3 now let's simplify this equation so i will get va and coefficient of va is 1 by 5 vb coefficient is minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 15 minus 1 by 3 equals all constants i'm clubbing together and putting on other side of equation so it will be minus 18 by 3 which will be minus 6 and three terms will be there so plus 3 so after simplifying i will get va 1 by 5 plus vb minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 15 minus 1 by 3 equals minus 3 this will be equation number 2 and solving equation 1 and 2 so i will get va equals 8.1818 volt and VB equal to 7.7273 volt. Now objective is to get current flowing through 2 ohm. So let's go back to original circuit. So original circuit is like this and current flowing through 2 ohm. We have written the equation 0 minus VA plus 10 divided by 2. So I will write once again. 0 minus VA plus 10 divided by 2. So this is equal to minus 8.1818 plus 10 divided by 2. So I will get an answer current flowing through 2 ohm equal to 0 0.9091 ampere. And I'm getting a positive answer, meaning whatever current direction I have assumed is correct. So for 2 ohm, the current direction is upward. Now current flowing through 3 ohm. So we have written an equation for 3 ohm resistance like this. Vb minus 0 minus 18 divided by 3. So actually it is VB minus 18 divided by 3. So this will be equal to 7.7273 minus 18 divided by 3. So I will get an equation or answer equal to minus 3.42. 4 to ampere now i am getting an answer minus minus means whatever direction i have assumed for 3 ohm that need to be reverse so finally i can write current flowing through 3 ohm equal to 3.4242 ampere and current direction will be opposite to that of assumed one. So here we have seen a problem where 
node need to be defined properly so that only two equations you will get and solving those two equations are very simple in subsequent videos we will see more numericals based on nodal analysis thank you